Okay, welcome back to our CSS Grid series where we are creating a full website using uh, CSS Grid as our main layout tool. Okay, in our previous video we had set up the 12 columns um, and in this video we're going to start to get into uh, the sections of the website. So in this uh, video we're going to cover the header or what I'm going to call the masthead. Some people might call this the header, some people might call the whole thing the masthead. I grew up uh, in high school and college doing uh, newspaper layout <clears throat> and so the masthead is just the part that's all at the top that tells you how much the paper costs and what the date is and the name of the paper and all that. So I'm accustomed to using the word masthead. You can use any keyword or um, class name that you want to use that you feel comfortable with. Um, but essentially this is just the website header up here which has traditionally been the header. It has the uh, company name here and then it has a small navigation and it's kind of a slim design here you can see it's not very tall um, and that is on purpose because we want to highlight some of the content especially here uh, so that's the choice that we made in, in the design and then uh, we're going to reflect that in our website so let's go to our code uh, we took care of the grid wrapper styles last time and now we need to build out our header so let's just um, let's just get rid of uh, this part here and then I'm gonna call this uh, masthead you could use uh, you could use an ID here if you wanted to for each of these sections um, I'm not necessarily going to here now uh, because I don't need it but you could certainly do that uh, the first thing that we need to have is I like to, because I'm going to use um, Flexbox a lot in this tutorial, so if you're not familiar with Flexbox, I actually have a Flexbox tutorial uh, on my YouTube channel. So you can go back and get familiar with Flexbox. It's uh, pretty easy to understand. Um, we're just going to be using the basic uh, parts of Flexbox, I think, in this, uh, in this example. There's nothing too crazy. Um, so if you're not familiar, please stop, go check out Flexbox, or maybe you can learn it just by watching me here. Uh, so we're going to say masthead enter. So what this is going to do is it's going to take, masthead is going to be all of the black part, and then there's going to be an invisible box that's containing all of our inside elements, okay? Uh, so that's all that we're doing with that. So inside of masthead enter, we're going to have, uh, let's use, let's use section, I guess, and we'll say site title, and then we're going to give that an H1, and we're going to say company X, okay? And then we come out, and in the, inside the masthead enter, so on the same level as this, we're going to create a new uh, section essentially, and we're going to have a nav, and we're going to say main nav. Um, so if you're not familiar with these, we're using uh, HTML5 um, element tags. So header, section, nav, these are all uh, in order to help the browser uh, to understand the structure of the page, which also helps uh, anyone who has an assistive uh, device. So for someone who can't see and they have it reading to them, um, then it makes it more accessible to use these tags. So where you can, you should do that. Uh, we could technically put header here too. Um, you can use multiple tags throughout the. Uh, you can use multiple tags throughout the. Um, throughout the site. I feel like that's maybe a little bit overkill like that. So let's do header like this and we'll do the H1 here <clears throat> and we'll do the nav and so easy way to make a navigation is with an unordered list. So we have that and we have a list item. Now we have four, four elements here about services, contact, and sign in. So let's just build those out. So about services, um, contacts, contact and sign in. 
All right. So we have our menu here and we have our company name and now we need to pull this part up to here. Okay, but this is all the HTML content that we need. Uh, so that's pretty easy, not a whole lot there. So we come to our CSS and we're just going to put this under navigation slash header. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to style the masthead. And the masthead remembers the outer, the largest outer layer, right? The section. And we're going to say a background color of, uh, let's use like a dark, really dark gray. And then let's turn our text white. And then what we need to do here is, well, let's move on for now. I'm not sure we need anything yet. And so let's do the masthead inner. And the masthead inner, we're going to, that's where we're going to put our flex property. So we're going to say display flex. And then you see automatically it pulls it up, right? So when we do display flex, the default flex box orientation is horizontal. And so it makes everything in the line horizontally uh, <clears throat> together in one line. So we have that. That is good to go. And what I want is the company name here and the navigation here. So the way that we do that in Flexbox is we say justify content. And then we use the space between property. And so it creates space between our elements. Okay. And essentially it takes the first element, puts it against the far left edge, takes the uh, last element and it puts against the far right edge and then if there were other elements in here they would be spaced out evenly as well. If you use something like space around um, that might be okay too but it's just gonna it's gonna put equal amounts of space between each one over the width of whatever the uh, flexed area is the masthead inner. So that's not exactly what we're looking for. Uh, we're looking for this and then if we want to push these things in a little bit, then we can do that. Uh, but you can see now uh, we have a nice responsive header. And uh, we also want to align items to the center. And what this does, you saw this move down. So it makes all of these in a row. Otherwise, they're aligned to the top edge. That's the default. So they would be aligned to the top of the C. And then these would be aligned to the top of the A, and that would be all in a line. So if you have something tall like this, but you want them to be centered up, you use align items and center. Um, you could also use, a, if you use something like flex end, then it would pull it all the way down to the baseline. So the baselines are going to be, um, they're going to be lined up. But we want to use center, so let's do that. And let's begin to work on the navigation. Um, so we're going to say <clears throat> uh, we have a main navigation here, but we have a, an un unordered list. And so sometimes if you're using Bootstrap, uh, there's a common menu element. So if we create something called horizontal menu, then we can use that across different menus all throughout our website. Uh, because we want the same properties to happen uh, with many of these menus. We want them to be flexed so they're not vertical. We want to take away the uh, bullets here and then we want to be able to control the list items and how they're spaced out. So first we need to um, take away the bullets so we say list style of none that removes the bullet points and then we can say padding because there's padding and margin on this menu. So padding is going to equal zero. And then we also need to take away the margin. Um, so let's do that. Uh, every unordered list has padding and margin. So there's something to remember if you're getting some funky alignment or something with your unordered lists. Try taking away the padding and margin and see if you can uh, fix whatever problems are there. And then we also want to display flex. And so that, again, takes just this element and flexes it. So we have a flex inside of our larger flex, right? 
Uh, and now we have everything kind of squished together. And so we can do a couple of things. We can say uh, justify content space between, which doesn't do a lot because we haven't given it, um, we haven't given this any size, which we could do. That's a little bit more complex than what I want. I'm just looking for something kind of quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say for all the horizontal list items, I want there to be a margin left of one rim, which is about 16 pixels. And so what this does is it puts a margin on the left side of each of these list item elements. Okay, so now we have a nice, uh, nice header here. Uh, if you wanted this when it butts up against each other, if you want that to come down to here, uh, you could say on our main one, you could say flex wrap wrap. And then you see now that once it comes up against it, it's going to force it to wrap to the next line. Okay, so when our flex elements butt up against each other, it forces a wrap. So that may or may not be something that you want to do. Uh, I'll leave that in there so you can comment that out if you want or use it. Uh, for right now, we're just going to leave it like this. I think when we do our mobile styles, I'll probably just do uh, some sort of different solution for that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so now we have everything here. And the reason I picked the margin left is because I want to preserve this uh, right side. If you didn't want to preserve that, you could just say like margin on each side is one rim or you could say in order to get one on each side you would need to do half, right? So uh, so this would be 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So in between here the 2.5 equals one and the same thing here and here and then you get a, a little tiny uh, half a rim on each side. Okay, so that would be also a solution for that. Okay, so this is our uh, this is our header. It's a little bit taller than what I really want. So on an on an H1 here, and then we've taken away the margin here on our our unordered list. So there's no there's no space around this unordered list, but there is some space around here that's giving us all of this. It looks like padding, but it's actually margin here. So we go to our site title, H1. And let's try to just get this in line here. So we would say site title H1. Remember, I'm using <clears throat> SAS here. So the indentation means this would normally be, you know, this. Well, I can show you here. Um, Let's see. It's not going to show it yet because I don't have it. So site title H1 is going to be margin of zero. And you can see now that it, it shrinks all that margin that was around it. Okay, so an H1 has that automatically. Okay. So you can see that site title H1 when I wrote it is the same as this. Okay, so if you're familiar with CSS, then this is all it looks like, uh, but we're using the SAS version. All right, so we, we took the margin off of here. So now it's all real tight in here, a little bit too tight. So let's come back up to our masthead. So we go to the outer one. Uh, we could also go to masthead inner, whichever one you feel comfortable with. And you could say padding of, let's say, one rim, which is going to be kind of big still, it's a little bit too tall. And what I want is I like this on the sides, but what I want to do is I want to slim this down on the top. So we can do, um, because I want the top and bottom values to be exactly the same, we can use the short code or a shortcut <coughs> for padding. And that is, uh, we can just make that half on the top. So this stands for the top and bottom. Uh, value and this stands for the left and right value. It's the same as saying 0 0.51, 0 0.51. Uh, it's just a shorter way of, of writing it.
So now we have our nice slim uh, header, what, <laughs> navigation and header, whatever you want to call it. I call it the masthead. And uh, we have our company name, and we have all of our uh, links up here. And we'll turn those into links at some point. Um, well, I can just do that now. So what we would do is we would say href equals Uh, like that, and now it's turned into a link, and we'll just do that with all of these. When you're using Pug, all of the indentations are super important, but essentially this is the compiled, so it's an unordered list with a list item uh, that has this inside of it. So. Um, it's just normally what you're accustomed to. Um, no different. Okay, so now we have these. We've lost our color on those, so we have to uh, go down to our list item, and then we'll do um, the list item A tags are going to be color uh, white, and then we'll take off the text decoration. <clears throat> and so now we don't have the, the text decoration there. So we'll leave that there for now. Maybe we'll come in and do some, some different styles with that. You could do the hover styles, uh, which would just be uh, the ampersand, and then the pseudo hover. And then you would say something like color. I like to use an RGBA color here. And just say a zero point, I don't know, Eight. So you get a nice little, uh, nice little rollover effect there, using just the uh, alpha um, of the same color. So that's a nice way to create a little bit of difference. You see that? Okay. So this is our header navigation, and uh, thanks for watching. And next we're going to tackle the hero image. Again, we're going to be using Flexbox. And we're using uh, some of the background image properties, so that would be a good one to watch. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Um, if you've missed uh, one of the videos, just go back and watch them. And again, if you're not familiar with Flexbox, go to my channel and click on the uh, Flexbox playlist. There should be four or five uh, videos. There's also some examples of how to do this sort of header and also how to do kind of the things that we're doing now uh, with the hero image. So if you want to get a little preview of that, that is in the Flexbox um, playlist as well. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.